Hello YouTube and welcome to another text launch video. Let's take the new Microsoft Surface 3 to the next level. I got the Surface 3 type cover to make out of the tablet or just a PC without anything Surface 3, a full netbook, ultra netbook or even a notebook. So we got this uh, keyboard cover. Uh, let's see, it's really pricey, around 130 to 150 euros. I mean, Microsoft is here definitely learning from Apple or maybe Logitech. We all know those Logitech ultra thin keyboard covers for the Apple iPads, uh, which costs also around 80 to 100 euros. But the Surface cover got one advantage, uh, comes with Windows. Uh, we got a trackpad, so we got an integrated mouse here. Uh, let's see, we got the black cover, uh, black color. Uh, you also get it in red, uh, violet, uh, light blue and dark blue. Uh, by, by the, my opinion, I mean we got the black front side of the surface and I mean the combination uh, is, is nice. But if you want to, uh, if you like it colorful, uh, you can do this as well. So we see t type cover compatible with Surface 3. That's not totally correct. You can also use this with your Surface Pro 3, uh, but it's not uh, the same width here. And also you can use the Surface Pro 3 type cover with your Surface 3, but they work, but they won't look that fine. So let's see, open it up. Ah, uh, there we go. Then we can pull it out and we got, the, oh, I mean, oh man, we got a, a starter guide here, but no, it's just just warranty guide, There's nothing interesting here. Uh, but there's a starter guide on the back side in the inlay, uh, how to put it on, how to do the stand, how to put it on the back side. Okay, then let's see. This type cover, ooh, light. First impression, this is really, really light. The Logitech Ultra Thin Keyboard is definitely, I would say, maybe close to twice as heavy. Uh, this device has, does not need any power, uh, in, uh, any uh, power source. You don't got a battery, you don't need to load it up. Uh, this only will work via the dock connection here and get all the power it needs from the surface. So there's no, it, it, you don't have to charge it, but on the other side, there's no mobile battery integrated in this type cover to maybe uh, charge your type, uh, your, your surface, for example. So this is it. Well, first impression, nice, definitely nice. I don't know why people are honking, yeah, but yes, nice. Yes, it's plastically. Plastically, yes, it's thin. The feeling is not really. Also, it's it's really closer to the new MacBook uh, than than maybe to to a normal notebook keyboard. But the keys are big enough. We got enough room. Nice. Uh, what about the material? We got this soft, soft, not silk, but soft uh, feeling here. Um, I hope it won't get too much, too fast, too dirty. Uh, but it feels nice, but for a cover, boo, ooh, and we got the Microsoft logo or the Microsoft sign here. Uh, now let's connect those devices. Uh, there are magnets here, so it should really easily fit here. Ooh, this was fast. And uh, try to pull it off. And yes, there we go. So, and it fits, definitely fits nice for worms first impression. Yes, 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 but Look at this, the surface cover is bigger than the surface. So you get this frame, the frame is surrounding this device. Not a nice feeling. Yes, it's, it's soft, but um, eh, uh, you have to take it uh, or carry it on the side where the dock connection is. That's nice. This is a nice feeling. Yes, definitely. Uh, so let's open it up and we see nothing happens. So no wake up here, but you can just Push a button, push any button, push a button, yes, and it will load up. There's no problem here, so... Oh, but we got sleep. Maybe there is a, a wake on wake on function which we have to activate somewhere. But you can just press a button and then wait. Press it again. Oh, do we have to push it twice? No. Ah, maybe just hit the trackpad. No, no. I guess you have to push 
twice. Nothing? Yes, you have to push twice to activate the surface. Okay, uh, now what happens if we turn the co type cover on the back side? We will, ooh, this is a nice strange feeling here. You are pressing the button, it feels a little bit slippery, but nothing happens. So the type cover deactivates when it's on the back of the type cover, uh, of the Surface 3, so this is nice. And um, nothing happens, no typing. Let's turn it back on the to the front side and try to type. Yes, that activates again until which angle? Ah, and that stops. So you can really type, even you can hang it on the wall and type this way, no problems. It will function. Um, then, of course, now we want to see it in action. Normally, you will only open your laptop and it will, the lid the screen will stay this way. This won't happen on the surface, but we got our stand here. You can now get the three different angles. Step one, uh, step two and step three. This would be the ideal one for, for showing you the typeface. And then you got two different angles for the, touch, for the type cover. This one lying flat on the ground. Fields, nice. First impression, yes. Okay, this is, it's, it's, it's a plastic keyboard, definitely. But the keys are big enough, first impression is really okay. But then you can also get a, an another angle here, you can push it up and then there's another magnet and then you get a, another angle to type on. And this feels definitely differently, more like a normal notebook. But you definitely also get, get a different, um, it feels you feel that there, there's nothing under underneath the keys. You feel this, this hole, you're typing above a hole. I don't know if you know what I mean, but this is feeling I get from typing this way. Um, let's check out the last thing. It's really cool because we got now a full touchpad. It's a small uh, trackpad here, but it's fu fully functional. We got right click, we got left click. This is nice. We got even double click. And of course you get why uh, you get multi-touch here. You can see it multi-touch just works. This will, works fine. And first impression about the also about the trackpad works great. This is exactly what I want to see on a laptop or in a notebook or even now on my on my Surface 3. This is a nice addition. This is an expensive addition, but it's also a nice one to turn your Surface three into a full blown notebook or netbook or ultra netbook or whatever you want to call it. And we got some special keys here. Escape, we got a mute button, no volume keys here, but you got volume keys on your surface. You got a paste pause play button, you got uh, brightness keys, but not for the screen, but for the, we got a background, uh, background lightning here on the, on the, uh, on the surface cover. This is nice, but we got also brightness buttons uh, for the screen on the type cover. Uh, then you can see we got the new Windows 10 layout already on the Surface 3 uh, type cover. We got print scan, home and page up, page down, insert and delete. And that's it. Nothing more. We got some little arrow buttons here. Okay, but that's all we got. So, first impression, yes. Pricey, but first nice impression. This is, I guess, a nice combination and about the weight. Uh, it's, it's okay. Yes, it's a little bit heavier than without the type case, but this is something I would still be able to carry around all day long. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.